Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to learn how to age well and share that advice with you. And today I'm going to share the results I've experienced from using this little mouth device, which looks a lot like a sports mouth guard, but has in fact retrained my facial muscles getting rid of the jaw and ear pain that has dogged me for years and also rebalancing my jawline shape, which had become quite lopsided. The device is the Oralift and the science behind it has not only become widely adopted for treating jaw movement disorders, but it's also become known as a non-invasive dental facelift. So let's take a look now at my results having put this device to the test. So I started using the Oralift back in February. I had been diagnosed well over 10 years ago with something called TMD syndrome, which is used to describe a group of temporomandibular disorders. And that's basically a dysfunction in the jaw joints and surrounding muscles that control jaw movement. And in my case, it often caused significant pain and a feeling of pressure behind my eardrums, especially if I chewed gum for any period of time or something like that. And I'd spoken to my doctor and I was told that the only option was surgery. But I can tell you, and I know it sounds almost too good to be true, but this is what happened. Wearing this device helped fix this pretty much immediately and for me so far has been life-changing. It has cosmetic benefits too, which are a bonus, but for anyone with jaw pain, I think it's a must try. So what is it and how does it work? Well, it's the brainchild of Dr. Nick Mahindra, who is a dentist who specialized in treating facial pain and developed a theory in the 90s that linked jaw problems with what he describes as facial height. So the appliance he created, the little plastic mouth guard, is basically molded to the shape of your lower teeth, as you would any sports mouth guard, using hot water to melt the plastic enough to then shape it around your teeth. Once set, each time you wear it, it sits on top of your lower teeth, separating them from the upper deck. And the idea is to leave a gap between them so that your upper teeth are never touching the device. And by doing this, you're retraining your muscles to leave a resting space. A little like mewing, if you've heard of that, but in this case, you have a physical barrier that you're wearing for a period of time. And so you're more likely to stick with the program and get faster results. Wearing an appliance separates your teeth by a margin that's much greater than your natural, what's called freeway space. And the muscles on the face immediately realize that the little device is something they can't chew or eat. So they adapt to create a new resting length and a new freeway space in your mouth. It's also thought that in doing this, the muscles release proteins, including a growth factor that has an impact on the surrounding cells, including in your skin. Similar to what happens when we exercise, where the activity in our muscles spurs the release of growth factors which have a knock-on effect on our connective tissue and have even been linked with increased collagen production. So that's the theory behind how the mouth device works. When you order the Oralift kit, it comes with two devices of different sizes. Now there's lots of videos out there on how to use the Oralift and it comes with detailed instructions and videos on an app that guides you through use. So I'm not gonna attempt to do a detailed tutorial here, but essentially, it comes with a three millimeter device, which you wear for the first few weeks and build up the amount of time that you're wearing it as you go. And then you swap the three millimeter for a five millimeter device, which is gonna open up the space between your teeth even further. Included in the cost, you get a year of online support if you need it. So you can have a Zoom tuition call on how to use the device. I linked up with Sue at Oralift who helped me mold and fit the devices before I started using them. And we did something called a touch test during that session to help me adapt to the device. So I had to focus on keeping my top teeth away from the device and click on the app each time my teeth touched it. And it was just helping train my brain to be aware of the space and of, and of keeping my mouth and the free space 
open whenever I'm wearing the device. The Oralift kit costs £219 or $295 US dollars. It's also sold in Australia, Canada, across the EU and in other countries as well. So it's widely available. I try to source discount codes for pretty much everything I, I can that I feature on this channel. So I've got a link to the Oralift site with a 10% discount code below and in the video description. Just click where it says show more. The advice with the Oralift is to wear it every third day, so you have a couple of rest days in between. The minimum of time you want to wear it for is about half an hour and the maximum is about two hours. So I ended up wearing it for around 50 minutes at a time. Ideally, you should wear it morning and night, although I didn't always manage to do that twice a day, but I did stick to the schedule. I wore it for at least 50 minutes on treatment days and it was mission accomplished for me in terms of relieving jaw pain. But I also noticed that I haven't struggled with neck or shoulder pain over that period because I think in retraining the muscles, it's in my mouth, it's kind of had an impact all the way down. This jaw still clicks, but I'm pain free. The idea is you use the device for an initial four month period, take a four month rest, which I was pretty anxious about in case the, the pain came back, but it hasn't. It's been a good few weeks so far and um, all good. And then you start wearing it after four months for a two month treatment period. And then you go back to a four month break and then two months of treatment again and on it goes. I've got to say that having done the initial treatment, I don't tend to clench my teeth very much during the day and I think I'm clenching less at night but I also wear aligners at night which helps with that. The makers of the Oralift say it can also help reduce lines around the mouth, your eyes and face in general. It can reduce bags under your eyes, increase the fullness of the lips and give you more prominent cheekbones. They say it can tighten and strengthen your facial muscles, strengthen and firm the jawline, improve your head posture and reduce or even eliminate headaches. And as I said, it certainly strengthened my facial muscles and improved my neck posture. But I've seen cosmetic benefits too. So let's take a look at me back in February. Sorry for the mugshot. I can never take a sophisticated, like normal selfie, but there we go. So you got me back in February and then again in June. Now, I mentioned there's an app that comes with the device to keep you right on when to wear it and how long for at a time. And it lets you take photos along the way. And when you do, you're basically fitting your face into a little template on the camera so that the angle is the same in each shot, which is really helpful for doing direct side-by-side -side comparisons like this one. So if you notice before, um, I have an asymmetrical face, which many of us do, where one side of my jaw on the right of the before picture is lower than the left. And what I noticed over the four months was a correction of my jawline to make my face more symmetrical so that the right side of my chin matches more closely the left. I also see an extension of my facial muscles, which is visible in the softening of the nasolabial folds around my mouth and a relaxing of the lines under my eyes and of my jawline. And I think in general, it's just opened up my face by training my muscles to keep that space between my teeth, which then feeds into the jaw and neck. So I feel for anyone who clenches their teeth or who has jaw ache, neck pain, asymmetrical face, this is worth trying. If the cost of the device is an obstacle, it's certainly worth trying mewing to see if you could train yourself naturally to keep that space open by the way you position your tongue. I felt in my case, I didn't have the time or self-discipline to stay conscious enough to try mewing and I needed a device to really make the difference and it's been a hugely worthwhile experience for me because it saved me from surgery. So I'll definitely be keeping up with this device long term. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then by giving it a thumbs up, you help it reach a wider audience and also help to grow the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. I would also love to hear about your experience in the comments. You know, have you tried this device or mewing or something similar and has it helped you? I'd love to hear from you. For now, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.